Guy. And in preseason hockey, it oh, appears yeah. as if the next one is, yeah. <laughs> is slated properly. Joining us now is that man, 18-year-old, from North Vancouver, Canada, Connor Bedard. Yay, yeah, Connor! What's up, dude? How's it going? Hey, listen, you said to hear a lot of stuff about you. I'm sure that was uncomfortable, especially for you hockey players that hate compliments and don't talk publicly ever. The pressure, though, has been on you for a while to be the next face of an organization. Now that you're getting to experience it, you got through preseason, you're traveling to take on Pittsburgh in primetime. How do you feel as an NHLer and as a main name in the biggest league in the world? Yeah, well, first off, thanks for having me on. Uh, but no problem. for me, kind of all that outside the noise or whatever it's not something i'm uh, thinking about too much i mean uh you know i just want to play hockey and um you know it's been so much fun this past month going through training camp and getting to be in chicago and of course uh getting to go to pittsburgh and uh be in their home opener and and uh kind of experience that so it's just exciting and i'm trying to kind of take it all in hell yeah enjoy it all aj has a question for you has it been kind of what you expected so far this last month? We know you've been playing very well in the preseason. I, I assume you, you plan on kind of keeping that up for the regular season, but what's that whole experience been like? Yeah, it's been a lot of learning and um, kind of, you know, obviously this is the highest level in the world. And, uh, you know, you're going to have your kind of adjustment period. And, um, you know, I think getting to play some preseason and stuff is, is always good just to have a little bit of that. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's been, oh, been so much fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of get going here. Is hockey a sport where you, you know if you'll be able to transition against the adults and people that are putting, you know, food on the table? Like, in pre it's preseason. We know. We just showed one dangle from you there. Uh, just absolutely, that was in abundance. Mm -hmm. If you got to, you are filthy with your. It, did you know that it was going to work against adults? Was that ever a worry, or has it just kind of how you vote? Ah, Ooh. see ya. Thank you, cook. Good night. Anyway, has it always been that way? And was there ever a conversation about what it might look like against full-grown adults? Uh, yeah, I mean, I still haven't played an actual NHL game, of course. Um, so you still. Or trying to prove that and uh for myself i think it's just being confident uh when i'm out there but you know i got to respect these guys like i said it's, it's the best player players in the world and um but just going out there kind of you know trying to play my game and you know learn what i can do what i can't do and um uh, yeah just just having fun with it along the way when did you start playing hockey when i was four or five years old so um yeah 13 14 years ago this was the only game plan for life uh, yeah, just right when I started it was, you know, I was lucky to kind of find that passion and uh, I played a bit of soccer growing up and stuff and nothing ever really clicked to me like, uh, like hockey did. How has it been being the face of a franchise? I know AJ talked about it a little bit, but this is obviously different. In Canada, hockey is what you do. And I think what, curling, right? You got to oh, yeah, that. Curling. Even though we're the, no, yeah, yeah. I think we're the chomps. Yeah. And the cross. Oh, lacrosse big in Canada I as well? I believe it's the national sport. Really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. All I remember is like Mario Lemieux's family iced out his living room yeah. Oh, yeah. so he could skate around in there. Obviously, Sydney has stories of being there. You're supposed to be this guy. But you say you just try to stay singular focused. How do you do that? Do you just try to – do you isolate yourself? Are you only hockey all the time? How do you remain a normal human while having all this pressure of being the next guy for your entire country's sport pretty much? Um, yeah, I think, you know, obviously sometimes you're going to hear something and I think if you kind of look at it from the outside, it is, you know, pressure and stuff. But for me, you know, I'm just doing what I love and I don't really, you know, from when I was six years old to, to now, it's just kind of, that's the same mindset as, you know, I feel fortunate to get to go to the rink every day. And, um, yeah, I've just never really wanted to not be in that situation and to get to, you know, kind of start here and. You know, I'm living out a dream right now, so that's more what I focus on than maybe the expectations or the comparisons or anything like that. Tone has a question for you. Yeah, Connor, how would you describe your, your feelings going into game one? And in game one, you get to go against Sid and Gino, Gino who have been two of the best centers over the last decade and a half. What are, you, how are, your, what are your thoughts going into that? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait. I think these last few days have seemed to have been – you know, maybe it's taking a little longer just leading up. You you want it to get going so bad. But, uh, yeah, like you said there with, you know, Sid, Malkin, uh, Latang, Carlson, like you can go you can go down the list. And uh, it's, it's pretty special to get that for, for our opening night. And, um, yeah, just, just so excited. And, you know, I'm sure there will be some nerves. But uh, just going to try to, you know, take it all in and, 
you know, once the game starts, of course, you're just trying to win and uh, be the best you can. Darius has a question for you, Connor. Yeah, Connor, coming up, uh, was there any players that you modeled your game after on the ice? Um, I don't know. Probably not one specific guy. Just well, I watched a lot of hockey. Sidney Crosby is actually my favorite player, so um, I watched him a lot and uh, just a lot of guys and try to take take little things away from from different guys and um, you know everyone's so skilled everyone has the the thing they're best at so just try to learn learn as much as I can hockey community very tight do they give you a lot of game like how long have you been chatting with those guys and getting tips from them as they've been in the league yeah I, I got to meet a lot of them when I was 15 16 I was pretty pretty fortunate for that uh, I met Crosby when I was 17 and yeah so I think you you see these guys at events or camps or whatever and yeah, hockey community is super tight. So even getting you know messages after the draft or something, I've been pretty fortunate and uh, just you know they all seem like you know class acts and, and just really good people. Yeah, anything to help the next generation. I assume they're all in hockey has a beautiful tight community, except for you know when the goons are out. That's right. Yeah, when the goons are out doing their thing. It gets a little ugly. AJ, go ahead, pal. Uh, we hear people talk about, like, in the sport of football, when people may have, be a little anxious or nervous or whatever to start up a game, they want to get in and get a maybe a good pop on somebody or even get hit themselves and kind of settles them into the game. Is that similar in hockey, and how do you feel like what gets you into the game? You, you have to get the puck and, and score, or you, you want to hit somebody or get hit? What is it? Um, yeah, I think, I mean, once the game starts, you're usually, you know, into it, but I think kind of – taking a hit even for me i'm not the biggest hitter or anything and uh tomorrow night i don't think i'll be uh trying to run anyone but uh just kind of you know get contact or making a play or you know just feeling the puck and then you know just feeling good about yourself your first shift so that's big just kind of you know leading on to the rest of the game hey watch yourself tomorrow night I, you know i don't want to even give you this heads up i'm sure the boys have told you iceberg the Penguins mascot, yeah. pull. He's distracting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're saying you got a great shot. Wait till Iceberg's penguin ass is bouncing in the back through that glass, Connor. Welcome to the NHL. That's going to be your moment, I think. Tommy right? Hawk will take him out. No, Tommy Hawk ain't going to be there. Tommy Hawk will take Tommy him out. Tommy Hawk ain't going to be there, okay? Uh -huh. Iceberg's got his whole problem going on. Uh, Ty has a question about your life. <laughs> yeah, Connor, just curious. Of all the hockey guys we've had on, they, you know, they like to talk a lot about the camaraderie in the room, and, and you know, boys tend to have a, a bit of a runaway every once in a while getting boozed up on the road, going to dinners and stuff like that. How are you going to kind of, you know, like enmesh yourself to the team and get along with these guys when you can't drink for another like three years? Like how, do, how does that, uh, how does that work out? Yeah, I think there's, I mean, more to life than, you know, just the guys drinking or whatever. I, think you can, I don't know. You just called like, you an alcoholic. Oh, hey, you know, you're an alcoholic. You can, uh, <laughs> no, no, but you like we're in the room together every day, and uh, the guys have been been so great to to myself and all the young guys. So I feel really, you know, connected in the room, and and the camaraderie's been great so far. And uh, yeah, just our team's mindset in general seems seems really good. So um, we've been pretty fortunate to have the guys we do around the room make us feel uh, comfortable. That guy starts boozing at like noon every day. That guy just asked uh, you that only question. on the weekends and. <laughs> Fridays maybe. sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, and maybe a Tuesday slips in. I don't envy him, though. I'd love a nice Shirley Temple at a good restaurant. You kidding me? Nothing beats that. <laughs> oh, yeah. High-end grenadine. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Connor has a question for you, Connor. Yeah, Connor, obviously you live a much different life at 18. I mean, I was smoking cigs and kind of just sitting on my ass, and now you're a professional <laughs> hockey player. But what else do you do in your life? Is it all hockey all the time? Do you really have any free time just to, you know, sit back and chill, or are you – pretty much hockey 24 seven trying to go win the Stanley cup. Uh, yeah. I mean, the majority of my life is hockey or in the gym or whatever, but uh, if I'm oh, yeah. getting away, I like to maybe play some other sport or just kind of hang out with friends and family and stuff. Nothing really too crazy, but uh, of course, sometimes you're, you're away from the game and, and doing some other stuff. What are you like game uh, gamer? You game a little bit. We, we no, golf. no, I, uh, I like to play like other sports, like I said, and uh, you know maybe golf or yeah. got into pickleball a bit this uh, a couple Whoa. summers ago, which I find pretty fun. How are you at uh, golf? Hockey players normally a natural transition to golf. I assume you're yeah. pretty filthy. 
No, I'm not. I'm like okay, not not that good, but I, I don't really play enough to be very good. But um, it's it's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, in the summer, I think basically every hockey player would tell you that they uh, like to play golf sometimes. So Ovi has how many goals? Forty five thousand goals, yeah. mm -hmm. something like that. Obviously, so. he's uh, absurd. And I've gotten a chance through social media to see like his driveway in the back. He has a net set up. And then he has a place where he practices, like in basements, that whole thing. People talk about your shot maybe being the best in the league already as an 18-year-old. Do you just all day, are we working that? How, how do you think we got to this point? And do you have a net in your living room as an 18-year-old where you're just firing pucks all day, every day? Um, yeah, I, I got a really good setup in my backyard uh, to shoot pucks. And, you know, I had uh, one of my neighbors actually built it. And when I was 12 or 13, I was I used to shoot in the front, but then I, I broke a couple windows on the house, so needed a uh, better area for it. So, uh, yeah, I got a really sweet setup in the back and spent a lot of time out there in the summers for sure. Your shot's filthy. We can't wait to watch it. Good luck tomorrow against the Penguins and the Iceberg. Iceberg. Listen, he's going to be on the ice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do not let him distract you in your opening night. The NHL thanks you for joining hockey as a whole. So do we. You're going to be electrifying, and we appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Chicago Blackhawks, Connor Bedore. Hell yeah! yeah.